When gardeners talk about growing new plants from cuttings, we use terms like softwood, semi-hardwood and hardwood. Well, what do these terms mean and which one is best to use? Well, it depends on the type of plant and the time of year. For example, these are rosemary cuttings and the fresh new growth is referred to as a softwood cutting. These are normally taken in spring, they're soft and sappy, and they're normally the quickest to take. The thing is, they're also easy to stress and die. So it's a good idea to put a little bit of rooting hormone on, use a dibber, pop it into some good quality propagation mix, and then you need to keep it moist and humid so they don't fall over. So either pop them into a greenhouse or put a plastic cover over the top. Next, we have semi-hardwood cuttings. This is bay. You can see here, again, that's the softwood part. The semi-hardwood part is where it starts to darken off and get a bit thicker and tougher down below. These are normally taken in late summer or into autumn. And the idea is they're hardier, they're less likely to fall over, but they also don't strike as quickly. You cut some of the leaves off so they don't dry out. Maybe even one more. Again, a bit of rooting hormone never hurts at the basis to help encourage new roots. Dibber, and that goes in. Now, humidity is not as much of an issue with these guys as it is with the softwood cuttings. Then finally, we have hardwood cuttings. This is a piece of mulberry. This is the tip, it's nice and soft and fleshy. This is the sort of firming up wood, but this is the hardwood, it's one year old and you can see how woody it is by the texture and thickness and toughness of the stem. So with this one, cut it back, remove these leaves. And that's a hardwood cutting. It's normally about 30 centimetres long and the thickness or just under the thickness of a pencil. You'd normally do this late winter and the plants then come back to life in spring. Hardwood cuttings are a great way to propagate plants like grapevines, figs and also pomegranates. So now you know one cutting type from another. Just think of all the plants you can grow.